this money You don't even know how we feel We the realest motherfuckers in the city And we keeping it real Oh yeah My homies right behind me And you know they all ready to kill Alright, what's up guys? Took a little trip to Audio Technics today Picked up some wires, some RCA, some fuse holders, and uh, this deadener I got in the mail uh, about a week and a half ago. But I'll go ahead and include it in this since I didn't in the other video. I mean, the other video I didn't shoot. But um, I guess I'll kind of just show you all some close-up of this stuff and kind of uh, do a little bit of an unboxing for the wire itself. Start with the fuse holders. It's just a generic um, A&L fuse holder. It's clear, um, looks like brass uh, bolts. I mean, I didn't, they're not too crazy, but they're just what I need. Um, logo on the front, Audio Technics fuse holder, and it says the Audio Technics website on it. So, um, I mean, yeah, pretty straightforward there. Let me go ahead and, let me just go ahead and open this. These are, for um, four channel RCAs, you can see you've got your silver, black, red, and then this one right here is blue. Um, it's actually, I didn't notice that until I took it out of the packaging. I'm glad I did. Let me get this um, twist tie off. Right here, they've got the little, um, the cool, I don't know what you'd call that, but just the kind of form fitted. Um, plastic kind of where it makes it look just makes it look nice even though these aren't like super 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 high quality expensive RCAs they're just some just some nice ones that I'm gonna use um, but uh, you can see right there this one I think is 17 feet long so that'll be my four channel RCAs I wanted them to match so I got um, the blue ones for the, my uh, base amp Two channel RCAs. Um, let me get the tie off this one. See here, it's just black and silver. Um, I mean, it's got the um, Audio Technics logo uh, logo in there. As you can see, I'll show you the other side too. See Audio Technics on both sides. Um, this one also, it's just a regular RCA, nothing too crazy. So, uh, I've got that. Um, let me go ahead, move that out of the way. And I'll get over and kind of show y'all what the deadener looks like. This top one I already took the plastic off of. Um, when you get it, it's sep they're separated by this... Um, little barrier it helps basically just helps them from sticking to each other but um here's what the deadener looks like um looks a lot better than it used to didn't used to have all the logo in it the audio technics and i like the just the black on silver um the back of it it has i think this is just the regular kind of wax paper comes off pretty easily let's see like that um, actually, there you can see right there. It's just a probably bl uh, black butyl. Um, it uses like pretty much every other deadener. So, got that. Let me move all this stuff out of the way to kind of let these boxes of wire up here. So, here, this is going to be the 4 gauge. Um, let me get my knife out. See when you open it up, um, it tells you what it is. It's got the little dot next to four gauge, the dot next to blue, and then CCA. So, uh, I'm get it out of here. So see, 
Got a nice full, um, pretty sure this is 100 foot roll, um, Audio Technic CCA 4 gauge. Get y'all a little, um, a little shot of the thickness. See if I can get the uh, find where the the other little plastic strip starts, or I can just rip it. That works too. So let me put, let me get all this before that rolls off. Get all that back in the box. Um, so here, it's the four gauge. I mean. How flexible this stuff is is pretty crazy. Um, you can see like that I'm not even really putting any pressure on it. Um, you can see hopefully that focuses. There's very little jacket. Um, really flexible. I mean not much uh, not much else to really say about. I mean you can't really talk for days about wire so that's sad that's the four gauge. Gonna go back in the box. Let me move this out of the way and then pull one of these boxes of zero gauge up here. Let me throw that away. So this is gonna be um, white zero gauge. I got it in white. I just wanted to just wanted to do white. That's why. And I got it all in white because I didn't want to have to try and kind of calculate how much black I'm going to need if I just wanted to do white for positive and black for ground. Um, so, let me get this. This one came out a little easier. Get the fuck out of the way. Sit. Sit. Good boy. There we go. So, like this one's the same. It's got the dot. Um, 50 feet white. So it actually looks pretty nice. Just the the white color. I've never had um, white wire. So let me get this. I think I tore it last time I pulled it off is why I had that problem. Getting it off. I got a little too antsy. So here. This stuff does look really nice though. You can see Audio Technics, there it is. CCA power cable, 4,704 strands. Um, you can see, just like the other one, getting a good amount of wire, very little jacket. And uh, like the other one was, this stuff is also very, very, very um, flexible. So, I like it. So there's that. Let me try and get this wrapped around. Hopefully to where it's a little little bit neat. Kind of a OCD kind of thing. It's gotta 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 be wrapped on there neat, so eh. there we go. So there is um, one of the rolls of white. I'll just go ahead and unbox the other ones to just to kind of, just for the sake of myself getting them out. Put the other one back in the box since it didn't have any um, that kind of saran wrap or plastic wrapped on it. I didn't want the wire kind of going everywhere, so that's why I put that one back up. So um, there's that. Um, I think that's about it for now. Um, so, I mean, good stuff at um, Audio Technics. Very good product. 
good customer service. Um, I mean, what else could you ask for? So I'll put up a, a link in the description and probably one up, uh, one right here of uh, the website. And um, yeah, I highly suggest them. So go ahead and order.